Well, it's time to cross the sea, but before they do that, I guess we can pick up this sharp beak. After all, we all want a sharp beak every now and again. So we can peck our enemy's face off, right? Like, like, bird person. Yeah, I know, he doesn't have a beak, whatever. Um, let, let's just go for a swim, right? Oh yeah, it'd help if I actually use the HMs. And yeah, I'm out of Pokeballs. It's, it's a horrible day. Yeah, uh, Poliwag, I need you to, to learn Surf, thank you. And, uh, Pusher, I need you to learn how to push some boulders for me. Since, you know, no one else can do it here. I admit, better coverage would be nice, you know. But, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't need the, the Pusher for long. There aren't that many rock puzzles in Hum Chen 2. Which is maybe a plus, maybe a minus. Depends on your perspective, I guess. Do I have any, um, repels on hand? Okay, super repel. Yep, use it. After all, I'd like to avoid trouble, thank you. Because let's face it, Tentacool is just super annoying. Damn it! You faked me out! Yeah, that's why you caught me, because you're whirling around like a whirlpool. Knock it off! I almost wish Sakura was back there chewing on her tank right now. Because that's one of the things she loves to do, is try and chew on it. She's she's desperate to, to find a way she can bite her way through. <sighs> Sad part is I put her in a bigger tank, she's, she's still the same way. She's like, I don't want to live in a box. I'm like, well, I, I don't have any other options. I can't let you free roam around my room. There's too many wires. In spots for you to get forever lost, Sakura. Like, like it'd just be a bad idea. I mean, she already has found her way downstairs almost one time. She got to the bottom of my stairwell and got caught. Kind of lucky I caught her there. I mean, if I hadn't come home on my break, she probably would disappeared forever. And then came out, came crawling out, you know, of nowhere a couple months later, you know, for her death. Be like, okay, I'm ready to go back to the box. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry now. Like, I haven't been able to find a lot of food in this house. That actually happened one time. I, I kept hamsters when I was younger, too, and one time one of them got out during a, a power outage, because I had these, like, test tubes that had had a, like, you know, one of the straw stems or whatever put in it. And it used that to climb to the top of the tank and get out. Yeah, whatever else you can say about hamsters, they're very, um, clever, unfortunately. Especially golden hamsters, they, they love to escape. It's one of their few skills. They're like, we're little escape artists, you know. Like, forget the mice, you know. Like, I've had a mouse get out before, too. But Sakura's escaped on me twice, you know. And you add in some of the other hamsters, yeah, I, I've seen a lot more hamster escape artists than mice escape artists. Like, even when I put them in a bin cage, you know, where the mice have an obvious chew target, they still decide to just stay in the bins. Like, oh, we could chew our way out, but forget that, we're gonna stay in the bins, because, you know, there's plenty of food in here. It's, it's nice and comfortable. Well, that'll do for this episode. I mean, the only other thing I can do is go grab a shuckle. Because it's there. I mean... There's, there's not much else I can do with it. Yeah, I, I can look after your shuckle for, for forever. <laughs> you talk to him again, he just instantly takes it back, though. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I know there's a mythical sea creature hiding in them, I just don't care. We also go meet Suicune again, but... I don't care about that plot line at all, so let's not and say we did.